All right, guys, here we have a 2001 Club Car DS 48 volt. It's actually a pretty nice looking cart. Nice lift kit on it, nice maroon color. I'm not crazy about maroon, but you know, to each their own, I guess. Big ass tires and wheels. Uh, we have a, something, I've already started this one here. I wasn't gonna film this one because it's pretty standard and routine. But this one here has dead batteries. They are tens. They, you know, March of 2010 is the date code listed here on the pack. Uh, but I want to show you what's not good to do or let happen with your batteries. So these are eight volt batteries, and I don't know if you can see that. I wish you had the ability to smell what I could smell, but that smells terrible. See how the plates are exposed? Uh, once the plates are exposed like this, they are batteries are basically done for. And typically what people will do is when they get this low, they'll fill them with water and the water will turn brown. And you're stirring up all the crap that's loosened up on the top of the plates here and be between the separation layers. So yeah, this is something you never want your batteries to do is go dry. You should always check your batteries. And this smells so bad, this battery. Uh, a customer was complaining that the cart just did not have any power. It didn't want to move forward when he stepped on the pedal and the solenoid would shut off. You'd give it about an eighth of a pedal and it would move. And as soon as you gave it any more, it would just stop. You can see here, this battery here is exactly the same way. The cells are dry, they're exposed and the water level is very low. That's something you just don't want to do. And in case you're wondering, this red stuff that's on the terminals is grease, red grease. Um, you can see here, now this one here isn't as bad, but one cell is as you can see, the water level is above the top of the plates, and that is what you want. I'm trying to give you the reflection of the water, but you can see if I shake the cart, no, no, you can't, but you can see there's a reflection of my light on the surface of the water, but if I do the same thing over here, you can see there's no reflection. So the water level in these three cells here is below, way below what it should be. This one here is actually a little low, but the plates are still covered. So technically, you know, technically that battery's shot as well. And as you can see, it's just the same for every single cell in this battery. Uh, it, it's one thing with electric carts that you have to do is proper battery maintenance. Um, I'm not going to really film changing out this pack because it is pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of disconnecting everything, lifting them out, and plopping the new ones in. Just a quick video and explaining, you know, once you let them plates expose like that, your batteries are toast. You know, you've shortened your lifespan of your batteries, regardless of what anybody says. And I've I've seen it personally, where batteries that are two years old and people don't put water in them, distilled water now, not tap water, and the batteries just, they don't want to hold the charge or they don't last as long. They complain that the batteries are not lasting as long as they were when they're brand new and they get pissed off at me because I put the batteries in and their the lifespan is shortened. And then when I show them this, I say, you didn't put water in the batteries on a regular basis and you let your plates get exposed so now the batteries are shot and that is not warranty covered because that's technically neglect and I explain to everybody when I sell them battery packs I, I say I need to come and sit down with you for at least an hour and go over proper battery maintenance and care. I want you to have all the information you need in order to take care of your batteries properly. So, so all right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, leave a question down below if you have any questions specific to this topic. Be sure to check the video's description to links to products I use every single day to bring you these videos and run my business. And to check out my social media pages. If you have any questions, leave a question down below in the comment section. And until next time, we will see you in the next video.